What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for getting video games monthly? Every month? Every single month. Corona be damned. <laughs> That's right. Actually, I tell you what, Video Games Monthly is a fantastic service to have in case of a pandemic or any kind of quarantine because you get retro games that have been cleaned and tested sent straight to your door. Well, it is summertime and we are feeling the heat literally and figuratively yes. because it is the end of June when we're finally opening our June video games monthly box. That means I've gone this whole month without knowing what's in here. Whoa, whoa, what's in the box? Da, 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 don't worry about it. Uh, hey, who wants to hear a joke? Did you hear about the kidnapping? Yeah, they couldn't get the kid to wake up. Ah, waka waka. And that's a bad thing because you want to get into your box as soon as possible. What's in the box? What's in the box? Mmm, bacon. So that you can fill out your list of what games they have sent you so they do not send you any duplicates. Because you see, here's how Video Games Monthly works. You sign up, you pick a tier. We go for three games, but we often get... One up, two up! A gazillion up. Do we ever get a Tony up? No. <laughs> Back in the day, gamer. Cause yeah, I never get one ups. <laughs> and <laughs> you fill in a list of what games you already have in your game collection. Make sure you update it with the games they send you. Which Tony does not. He doesn't. And they should not send you any duplicates. Now there's all kinds of retro games to choose from, Atari up to the Wii U and PS3. So that's awesome because you have so much variety and let's tear into this box, shall we? Let's tear into it like the Hulk. Make a Hulk face. You said I was savage. And there's our Video Games Monthly Box. Hi, Floyd! Something Lady Lacey likes to do is open this box and blindly hand them off to me. Because that's part of the fun of Video Games Monthly, is the fact that you don't know what's in there, so it's always a surprise. But this is not a surprise. This is the card that says you could win three games. You take a picture, share it on social media. This is the card that says, populate that list, so we don't send you any duplicates. And this is the card that makes Tony mad. <laughs> I was really anxious and I opened it. I didn't look what's inside, but there was no one up. So, there's that. Are you ready for that ricey treat? Ricey, ricey, rice, no one like rice cakes. That you need to go really fast for? Ricey treat? Like, wait. Like San Francisco? Mm-hmm. Treat? Mm-hmm. Rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. Is this San Francisco Rush? It is! Extreme Racing! Oh, well, I didn't know the Extreme Racing part, but that was the only game I could think of that has San Francisco in the title. You got it! Other than, um, Full House San Francisco. Wait, do they live in San Francisco? Yeah. I don't know. Well, San Francisco Rush, hey, the racing games on Nintendo 64 were always a lot of fun. First of all, they did racing games really well. You had that analog stick back then. And four player, split screen, it doesn't get any better than that. Introducing San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing. The only rules you need to follow are the ones in your head. San Francisco Rush for Nintendo 64 and PlayStation consoles from Midway. 
So we're off to a good start. Well, the next game, Elton John would really like this one. The Rocket Man? Yeah! Rocket Night Adventure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was thinking of a rodent, but we have the Rocketeer. I don't know if I've actually seen the movie. Oh man, in it's a full, good movie. But I always loved how he looked, and I think I might have had some G.I. Joes that I dressed up like the Rocketeer because I had like a full <laughs> face helmet. He kind of has like a Mandalorian helmet. It kind of like does. Yeah, I never thought about that. It was like Indiana Jones in there. Like, like he, he was, was in the background. With the Rocketeer he was in the background punching Nazis. Hitler in the face like with Captain America. <laughs> He's like, all right, Rocketeer, just swoop me in low enough and I'll... <laughs> you may have to watch the Rocketeer now. Yeah. We so will. I know what's going on in the game. <laughs> I like it. I taught a tall putty tat. Oh no, Looney Tunes? Uh-huh, specifically. Mm. Tweety. Twubble. Yeah, it's spelled Twubble. Twubble! Wow. <laughs> now, I'm not, I'm not a uh, Looney Tunes fan. <laughs> Who knows, it, it could still be a fun game. So not being a fan, I, I have no idea what to expect. And honestly, you know what? It's a handheld game. I didn't play a lot of handheld games growing up. So this is new to me. So that's just fine. Are you ready for our up? I am ready for the up. It's in a box. Watch the taste of that. I'm going to out of my mouth. It's in a box. Sega Master System. It's not a master system, but it is Sega. Genesis. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have no idea what to go off of with this one. It's dragons and pirates and poly Okay. Birds. So the game is Pugsy. <laughs> oh, Ooh, nice. Complete. Complete in box. Now looking at the back, it looks like we've got... It looks got, like a weird blood droplet. Uh, he kind of does. But it looks like we've got a nice platformer here. So... That should be fun. Honestly, some of these screens, it, it's uh, giving me like a Mickey Mania vibe, you know, kind of a that, little bit, yeah, kind of look like of that. everything. Yeah. And looking at the cover, you've got like a pirate bird, a dragon, a submarine, and a blood droplet with dynamite and sunglasses. <laughs> There's all kinds of weird stuff going on there. Like, is it a raccoon with a spear? Well, Don't give raccoon spears. That was a uh, rocket raccoon before he knew about oh, guns and everything. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, you know, as insane as this game looks, but how gorgeous it looks, I'm looking forward to this one. I am I too. Really, this one really actually looks kind of fun. I love, you know, I love my dragons. So we'll see. So the fifty plus levels. Wow. Secret rooms. You would have loved this as a kid. Hidden levels. Other cool surprises. Solving puzzles. Zapping 100 plus different alien creatures through 17 bizarre lands. Holy cow. When we were kids, it was hard to get to the rental store, buy a bunch of games, so 50 levels would have been awesome. Ideally, yes. <laughs> Although, as a kid, I probably drank a lot of Coca Cola and Mountain Dew, so I probably would have been up all night, and by Sunday morning, I would have been done with it. <laughs> hopefully. Well, are you ready for the free pack and prize? That's right. It Along was, with all of the fun games they send, VGM likes to put a little something extra in there. Well, this was it. under all the games, so it's easy okay. to miss. But uh, it's time to go to Vegas. 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 <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> oh, nice. The poker chip. Oh, man. Oh, hey, and, and listen to this. It's a real one. How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me. Like the fella once said, ain't that a kick in the head? You got to go to Vegas back in the day I when did, they when, still had poker yes, chips and, and the coins. coin drops out of the slots. So sounds like this you don't get from Vegas anymore. Mm -mm. No, now you get a... Uh, that's a printing of your ticket telling you how much money is on your ticket <laughs> instead of the fun droppings of coins i used to make a ton of money just walking around the casinos and keeping an eye in the trays because the trays are silver and the coins are silver so people would inevitably always leave quarters and nickels and stuff in those machines 
And I would at least leave Vegas with like 10 bucks worth of coin. Well. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Buddy, those are my quarters. Uh, hey, this guy's paying off. Uh, I used to find a lot of money in Vegas by walking around until I saw some rube rocking for a sockin. Pow! Then that money's mine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm not allowed in Vegas anymore. <laughs> Uh, Clark, this is all you can eat. We only need one plate. Anyway, this was a very nice box. You know, growing up with the Super Nintendo, of course, absolutely love adding a Super Nintendo game to the mix and getting a good co op or competitive multiplayer game is great. Um, a handheld offering. It is what it is with it's Twubble. Monday Tunes. It's all yours. It's Twubble. You can play that one. <laughs> I will, meanwhile, work on Pugsy. I'm very interested to check this, is this one a single, out. Is this a single player? One player one on player. Pugsy. That's okay. Sorry. I enjoy watching them. We can take turns. I'll share. Oh, really? When you die? That was the deal my dad made with me, and it didn't go very well. Well, nerdlings, <laughs> please, if you happen to like the video, give the video a like. Leave some comments down below about any of these games. Let me know what i've been missing out with rocketeer uh if i'm missing out on how much is he gonna things. love twubble guys <laughs> yeah, that's great that's great <laughs> but also if you would like to check out video games monthly yourself we love watching videos of people unbox their monthly boxes to see what they get because it's always a lot of fun to see what people sign up for because you can pick and choose systems and if you happen to check them out, let them know that Do You Nerd sent you and tell them you know Do You Nerd so they'll send you the good stuff. They better. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe so that you don't miss one of our videos. And as always, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Go to Vegas and throw your coins around. And Hit us up on that retro refresh, because if we like it... We nerd it. You can bet on that. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, we, you know what we gotta do? Break some back. This is what happens to your kneecaps when you don't pay in Vegas. <laughs> Vinny don't play. All right. Can you do the thing with the knuckles? I cannot. Can you? I can't either. I'm doing it so fast you can't see it. I used to practice after watching Tombstone, though. Ready? <laughs> and four screen and four player split screen. Anyway, be sure to <clears throat> or I said comment. Yeah. <laughs> okay.